What's going on my good friend? Welcome to another guitar tutorial with your friend Melodic Heels. This one comes requested by you my friend. Thank you so much for the suggestions. I really appreciate it. Keep coming and pumping those comments. Let me know down there what you would like to learn so I can keep working on these tutorials for you, right? So today we're going to be learning Uptown Folks by Dope Lemon. Awesome song, pretty simple in reality, but you know, it comes with its challenges. So I did my best to listen to it and you know, make this tutorial for you guys. All right, so make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and I'll catch you at the end. The first rhythm is based around the G major shape. All right, so to get that, it's going to be your third finger on the third fret, string number six, first finger. String number five, fret number two. And we're going to play those two strings and those two strings only two times. That's it. Now the next one is going to be, which is taking your third finger to the fourth fret of the third string. And then we're going to play that two times, but we're only going to plug string number four and string number three. One, two, and then do the same on fret number two, string number three, same two strings, four and three. And then we're going to do open string, which is going to be fourth and third, just those two. So when you put it slow motion, when you put it with a full rhythm, give it a little bit more life, right? The second shape is the power chord of B. You're going to leave your first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and then your third finger is going to play fourth string, fourth fret. Or you can use your pinky for that one. It's completely up to you. What's important about this one is that once you do the first two strums, you make your first finger uh, completely flat, like you would a bar chord, and play the third and the fourth string at the same time, and we're going to give that five strums in a row. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's going to go two strums, just a power chord, five and fourth string. And then we're going to make the finger flat to do the fourth and the third string five times. So one, two, ba da 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 da. The third one is going to be a D, but instead of playing it first like a power chord, we're going to use a shape just like you would on G, but it's going to be the second finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string, and then your first finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and we're going to give that two strums. And then from there, we are going to turn it in a into a power chord by adding the fourth finger to fret number seven, on the fourth string, and then we're going to do those five strums again. So you're doing first these two, two strums, and then you're going to turn it into a power chord by adding the fourth finger right there, and giving it the rhythm. So from the beginning, Now the last one is going to be the easiest one. Basically, you're just moving your fingers from the third shape one string up. So basically you're playing string number five on the fourth fret now, and then your next finger is playing string number six on fret number five. Okay? But this time you're doing two strums, then you add the fourth finger to fret number seven on string number five, and you're doing one, two, three, four, five. This time we're going to release it on that last one. On this one it stays, on the previous ones. And you keep the finger there, but on the last one you're doing two strums. And releasing on the last strum, okay? So when you put it all together, Now the next part is going to be the verse. 
the verse, what's really cool about it is that it's a simplified version of what we just did. So basically, the first chord or your first shape with G is going to stay exactly the same, but we're going to kind of bring down the volume a little bit, okay? Okay, now we're going to play exactly the same B, but this time we don't have to do anything but play those two strings, which are number five and number four with exactly the same rhythm, two strums and then five strums. And then we're going to go to the next shape, which is the shape of D. And again, this time we don't have to add the pinky, we're just doing. And on the A, exactly the same thing. So when you put it together, Now we're going to hear this a whole bunch of times throughout the song, right? So to get that started, we're going to go to string number one, fret number seven, two times, seven, seven, same string, five, five, string number two, seven. Good. Now we're going to have string number two, seven, seven, five, five. And then we're going to play one time on string number three, number six. Okay, so again, string number one, seven, seven, five, five, and then second string one time long, seventh fret. And then again, same movement, seven, seven, five, five, six on the third string. Once you get that, we're going to do four plucks, one, two, three, four, right there on the third string, sixth fret. And then we're going to play one time on number five on the second string. Back to four times on string number three, number six. And then we're going to go one, only one long strum, not strum, but just one pluck right here on string number three, fret number four. Now this portion of the song starts at 2 minutes and 12 seconds into it, and it's going to be two chords only. This is where the bar chords are going to come into play. You're going to have the G major, and you're going to have the B minor. There's going to be eight repetitions of going down up, up 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 down up. Up. And you're just going to keep repeating that. It's going to go basically back and forth between the G shape after doing the rhythm four times, and then you go to the second shape, which is the B minor. And that's going to repeat eight times. Now, after you finish those eight times, this is where the song gets really fun. We're going to start doing exactly the same thing, but we're going to add, first, we're going to change the rhythm, and the second thing is that we're going to add all chords that belong to the song in major and minor shapes, which is going to be your G major, B minor, D major, and you can do it like this like this, completely up to you, and then A major. All right, now we're going to play this as, you know, with eighth notes. So we're going to count one and two and three and four and. It's going to be a total of eight strums. One and two and three and four and. And then we're going to repeat that again for the same chord twice. So a total of 16 strums per chord. And 
just going to repeat again all four chords all the way and it's going to be actually a total of I think it's a total of eight times as well before it switches to the outro. So just keep in mind that at two minutes and 12 seconds, we're going to start with just the G and the B minor. Once you repeat that eight times, you're going to play G, B minor, D, and the A. So here we go, two rhythms. After the eighth time, and now remember, I'm only doing two repetitions, it's eight of them. I'm going to change the rhythm to one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And that counts as one round. Round number two. Alrighty, my good friend, I really hope that this tutorial added value to your play. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and it helped you all the way through. But if you have more questions, put them down in the comments. I try to reply to as many comments as I can. So I really appreciate it. And bring those comments, bring those suggestions. Let me know what you want to learn down there and subscribe because that keeps me motivated, right? Knowing that you guys are learning from them, but subscribing, turning on the notifications, hitting like, letting me know that I'm not wasting my time. Alrighty, you guys, with much love, catch you on the next one. A lot of kills out.